concerns that the business people have, including myself, one is traffic flow on Carl Brown Way and Loveland Avenue. Congestion and the negative impact of adding up to 80% increase of the business footprint in a two or three block area. The market last year had almost 40 vendors. Private parking, or private property parking, the loss of parking spots for all day on Tuesday at the Brown Building and blocking access to business on and adjacent to Carl Brown Way. These are all concerns that we have. One of the major issues that we face at my store and at stores in the Brown Building and businesses in the Brown Building is people wanting to use the restrooms. By the code of ordinances of the city of Loveland, there are only three locations the farmer mar farmer's market can be located downtown. That would be Nesbitt Park, the parking lot right outside here, not including Railroad Avenue, and the new parking lot being create created on McCoy, on the old McCoy property. We feel the three locations, the best place to go is Nesbitt Park. It makes the most sense. And, and have made the decision to move down to the Loveland uh, Station Apartments. And one of the big reasons why I made that decision is because of what, as a big contributor, the farmer's market brings to me. Uh, Loveland is, is indeed a, uh, a farming and has a strong history in farming and, and community here. So it's really important, I, I think, from adding to the ambience and, and, and the charm of Loveland and having people recognize this place for what it is. If you had the choice between eating an apple from Brazil or from a 30 mile radius from where you live, they're just trying to support their families, maybe even keep their farms, you know, maybe make some extra money. It would be just such a loss for our whole community if, if it were to go somewhere else and they didn't keep their, their sales up. Because if they're not making enough to pay for gas to come to the market, they're, they're going to find another market. So when the market, Jackson Street Market, opened a few years ago, it was just a you know, dream come true for me to be in a community that offered that as well as all the other advantages. And I truly enjoy going down there. Um, and I might say that I, most often I would have dinner in one of the restaurants you know, here in the community. It was really nice to put a whole package together. There's no doubt in my mind that everyone here this evening recognizes the value of this highly successful venture and what it brings to Loveland. And I'm equally confident that everyone in this room wants to see the market continue to thrive. But the question is where? The significant drop in last year's market sales and foot traffic proved that the Loveland Madeira Corridor just wasn't the right venue for the market. People found the Jackson Street Market location convenient. They could shop the market, go to all the different shops and restaurants, visit the park, walk on the bike trail. They found the atmosphere very welcoming, festive, with a hometown feel. Eats, Fence, Love and Hardware endorses uh, the farmer's market. Um, Peggy made it uh, real clear, it's an event, and it needs to stay downtown. Thanks. Now I see we have a, a great turnout today. Why? Everyone here loves the farmer's market! <laughs> now, we all recognize there are lots of problems, and I know Dave is working hard to solve them, but we want Dave to work harder! Well, I also volunteered at the market, and when I was there, I worked at the Jackson Street Market, um, and the farmers do need lots of blacktop. They really, I don't think that the uh, park will work out because they won't be able to get out if it's a rainy day or something like that. Uh, I think everyone feels a great passion for this market, and I don't think anybody wants it to go away. Um, but I think what's important is all of us deciding together. Ultimately, it's our city manager's job to say yay or nay, but I think that we all came here tonight out of our uh, cozy houses to tell you, please, Mr. Kennedy, to please, please keep it at the lovely Jackson Street Market. Thank you. We know that 60 to 80 percent of customers go on to shop at local businesses before or after attending markets. In permaculture, there's this philosophy that the problem is the solution, and I hear the issue of the, the parking. 
And I would say that you don't have a, a lack of parking problem, but an increase in people problem, which is a great problem to have. So Loveland Farmers Market is definitely a community. And it's a community of people that come down with happy faces, they bring their children, they know that this is something that they're going to enjoy every single week, rain or shine, we had people there. Um, I paid the taxes in Loveland, but I was happy to pay the fee as well. And it was something as a small business owner I had to consider. Do I want to still pay the fee, pay extra employees, which I am employing additional people because of the farmer's market, and these people are city residents that are employed by me because they are going to come and prepare additional meals. And this year we are working with the farmers of the market to use their produce in our meals. So we are continuing that chain so that we can continue to support the market. I need this. I need to support my family. I've done the same thing, thinking I don't want to leave Loveland. I, this is my home. This is where I'm supporting my four kids that are in Loveland schools. I will do whatever I have to do for the market. I don't want to leave, but you have to look at the bottom line. And if we continue to drag this on, people are going to start leaving the market. And we're going to make a decision to have the market, and then there's not going to be any, any vendors. It sounds like this is like the race that we lost to Milford. If we don't have this the market downtown, does that mean we lose it and still be in the city of Loveland, would it not? Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, our goal was um, to find a way to keep it within the city of Loveland. Uh, we were just exploring, uh, uh, we were exploring uh, options outside of the downtown area and that she can find no place to park. And parallel parking is hard for her because of hand controls. I'm not in favor of keeping it downtown, uh, at least from our perspective. If we have it in Loveland, we can't handle any more traffic down here. Thank the farmer's market has been very good for my business. It makes Tuesdays, when it was located down here at Jackson Street, a Tuesday business would be similar to a Saturday. And that's not an easy thing to do. And I, I've always felt that the market was great. Whatever, I've heard people say there are competitors over there. There's ice cream, there's candy, but none of that matters. It's just a very positive thing. And I'm very much in favor of having the market remain at the Jackson Street location. They start on my left, uh, my far left actually, probably the uh, uh, Mr. Phelps, and if we could just go down the line. Uh, knowing the city manager as I do uh, will be taken under consideration. Uh, Dave's a very um, considerate and deliberate man, and I know um, what has been said is not lost on him, so thank you. Ms. Gross? Oh, I just want to thank everyone for uh, coming tonight and sharing your views. Your mic, your mic. Sorry. Um, I just want to say thank you for coming this evening and sharing your viewpoint. Ms. Bailey.